You know, today I just heard you gave a fantastic testimonial. Yes. I didn't believe. You always come and see me, but I never thought he had so much a soul attachment all his life. And today he's telling me a testimonial, you know. He never told me. Very, a lot of people are very quietly getting all benefit but keeping quiet. Today they're opening up, you know. How many, from what age you had soul attachment? Since my birth. Since from his birth. Yeah. They've been everywhere. You know, today's full moon. And I was in the womb of my mother. Since yeah. that time I was... Whoa. Yeah. From the womb you know what happened? No, no, my mother got possessed. Ah, of... your mother got possessed. Yeah. Wow. And after how many years PVH you met? At what age you met PVH? Four years back. I mean, at what at, age? At, at age of 35. 35, his problem was all solved. Yeah. Only attending one workshop. One workshop. Yeah. Here only. Solved. You see? Same In this hall, the same huge same hall. Same 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 same. So like that, PVH you want to go around the world and help people. So you are the one who should be going around and spreading the news of PVH to many, many people. A lot of people are suffering in silence. Today is full moon. Many people were having problem with lunatic. Remember we had a workshop for lunatic? It's part one, part two, part three. Yes, so we're trying our best to help people to make them realize that it's not the moon. It's the people's thought form that go and end up having lunatic and all of this, the dark moon and all. Okay? So at least we are here today. Thank you very much. Right. This connection can be permanent. Can be permanent with you. Some inner world connection because your past life can be on and off. Come and go, depending on the area, location, and your emotional state of mind. Can come and go. Can come from a very young age, can come towards the end of the age also. Can happen during certain times of the year, like the moon phase. Can also be faced because you have got some, as you old age, you become dementia. So that you have no control, and some souls can come and they can start seeing things, and all kinds of things will start to happen. They go and trance there and scream and shout and say all the negative energy, all the bad words and bad things. Hmm? Can happen during certain time of the year, like the moon phase. Hmm? Can be permanent, can be on and off. This condition can be permanent or on and off. Okay? Right. Like this. Can you see that? Hmm? Suddenly go, will come back. Go. Something else is in your body. Seriously, no? Take the wand, you go to any body and check. Are there any souls in the energy body? If it moves, yes. You can even check if there's any souls in the astral body. Yes. You can even check any souls in the mental body. So once you find that, you know exactly what is it, and then you can find you can find a way to treat the person by elevating the soul who is already in the physical body or astral body or mental body. Hmm? So this is what happens. So remember this, huh? This can happen to anybody. Okay? So all the people on schizophrenia have an example of how he has come for healing and they have improved a little bit from what we have done. The mother has improved a lot. So remember this my friend. All schizophrenia, bipolar is all about soul attachment. That's all. Soul attachment. How do you find out? Okay, I'm coming to him now. I'm going to him. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to him now. Okay? Yeah. I'm going to check this now. It's all is fine. Fine, fine. But as is see, going. Going, going, going. Ajna is blocked. Coming to the throat chakra. Oh. Ah, I can't even go near the throat chakra. See how somebody reacts, somebody is blocking it. Okay? I'm going again. Are you okay now? Yes. Sure? Yes. Sure? Good. See, all these are blocked. When all are blocked, nothing happened. All is going to block. So how can how can he, he become better? Understand? So you go to the doctor, they give medicine, medicine, just sleep, 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 and finally become like a zombie. Yes. How many hours you sleep better? You more than 10 hours, 12 hours like that. He's sleeping? Yeah. Every day? Yeah, every day. You don't want to bath. Then you don't how, want to rest the day. Then how can you go and pass your exam, madam? Mm, don't know. Oh. God only knows. All this is a block, madam. Ah. Hmm? So I'm coming to his energy body, Masi. Any souls in the energy body? Yes. I'm coming to the astral body. Yeah. Any souls? Yes. You see, so all the energy body is coming to soul, the astral body, and I'm coming to the mental body, mental body. Mental body and no souls there. Okay. See, there's no it's his mental there's souls the mental body, madam. He'll walk on the street like a mad fellow, don't even yes, yes, yes. That is the mental body, madam. So now it's not with the mental body yet. Ah. So now physical body is when he do all his shaking, shaking. Most of the body when he starts screaming and shouting and say this when he yes, dies, yes. anxiety and depression, all of these souls are here. Ah. Yeah, there are 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600 souls, madam. Okay. So, 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 700, 
another 50, 80, 90. So all here. Here is all the energy. So this is also in the body. So source in the physical body, uh, in the physical body, in the energy body, in the astral body. Mm -hmm. So this is what people have diagnosed them as schizophrenia. Oh. If one means bipolar, sorry. If one means bipolar, if many, many means it's called schizophrenia. Okay? Father, we say God. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, my friends. Thank you very much. Very good. So let's see this guy now. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Fine. 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 Okay. All the color is gone. This aura is going to become very big now. Okay. So you have to manage this every day. Okay. Start doing divine fire for yourself. Divine fire for your soul. <coughs> With the I information, I am light. Forgiveness, page number one, page number seven. All this will help to make the aura so strong, another soul cannot come inside. Understand? Okay. Take care of your mother, she needs you. Okay. You're the only child. Okay. Understand? Yeah. Okay, good. Number two is channeling. Number two, exorcism. Let's go in detail and one by one. Let's understand this very well. Then we have a better way of understanding the whole world and how the whole world, energy body, astral body, mental body, the inner world and the outer world and all the souls, how they all connect to each and every person and how we understand what's happening out there. And you may be able to know something and can be able to explain to people and not get fear of all of this word. It's called trance, channeling and exhaustion. Okay? Right. So you need to understand there are good trance. Trance means doesn't mean bad. Trance can be very good, some trance can be very negative. Can trance can also be called as bipolar, can also be called schizophrenia, or something like that, or channeling. It's all understand. Okay? So happens in all ways around the world. Nothing is new, it happens. Okay? Right. Next. Can also be called as possession. Something possesses you. Something comes into your body and take over your physical body, your emotional body, your mental body, and also your spiritual body. They come into you, you are no more there. Another entity lives in you for a temporary purpose or for a long time or stay in your aura and come and go as and when they require. That's what we call by possession or we call it trance. PVH reason. I made it very simple today. I don't want to complicate you all to put all kinds of stories on. Make it simple. You watch a lot of videos and you understand what we mean by all of these things. Okay? PVH reason for all of these things. Okay? Like. Very simple, number one, soul attachment. Hmm? Soul attachment. Souls coming into you as and when required, as they please. You have no control over that. So, hmm? so remember this. So soul attachment, inner world connection. Some is coming from the inner world. And one fine day we have the time, we'll talk about inner world. What's an inner world? Like that. So inner world connection. Weak aura. Your aura is very weak. You're not strong enough to resist this nano vibration that comes inside. It's a very high vibration. You cannot come inside. So it's not so strong that your aura becomes weak and something enters your aura. And finally end up in the physical body. And then you've got also emotional issues. You've got so much emotion, you attract all of these energies. All these energies will be attracted and they will come. And they will use your body accordingly. Because those energies will also be in a very emotional state hmm? and cause you to do a lot of things. Some of you might even commit suicide or attempt the suicide, attempt to jump here, jump there or do something wrong, shout, be unruly, angry. Today we hear a lot of this, things. that's why today I hear few people we have a class on this because mother tell me my son is shouting, screaming, don't know what happened, he was all fine. One day he starts screaming, he's shouting, he gets angry and the next moment he's fine. There's something else is coming and possessing him or going to transfer or living in the in the energy field of the body, not in the physical body, but the energy field. Like that, they can all be in the energy field. No? Connection made willingly or connection made unwillingly. I mean, willingly, you want to go. You go and sit down somewhere, you involve, and you want this to happen to you. You ask me, you go visit from one place to one place, looking for some kind of a power to be stronger and stronger. That is doing willingly. Unwillingly, you don't want, but something happens. It could be due to your past life connection or something like that. Hmm? Coming, coming to yourself unwillingly. Okay, guys? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Next time, your soul gets trapped uh, inside the aura and now it's occupied by another soul or energy. Your, your, your soul is still there. It's not gone. It's staying somewhere. It doesn't know what happened. 
If God said, this guy come over here, takes over you. And you go in the trance state. Or your possession. Somebody else is in control of you. You are not in control of yourself. You don't know what happened. Okay, it even can happen from a childhood time. In a childhood, you can say, we say, there's a soul attached to you. And you are feeling all emotions and everything with the soul. And one fine day, you will go down and the soul will take over you. For a while, you show all this anger thing and then you go away. Sometimes you're so emotional, you just be crying, crying, crying. That's a possession or in a trance state. Trance can be short while, possession can be longer states. All different how you want to say it, okay? Right. That soul gets in charge of the physical body, emotional body, and mental body, and I forgot to mention spiritual body. So you can take charge of each and every one of this body that you have. So please be careful, my friends. Understand this, you can be the one, you can find out where they are. They sit in the aura, in the physical energy field, in the emotional energy field, you can sit in any one of these field and you can find out and you can find a way to help you guys to come out of this issue. Hmm? We have helped a, help a lot of people. We have healed a lot of people this way. We have healed a lot of people this way. Okay? So don't worry about it. We have a solution for this. Don't worry. And we will teach you how to do it, how to find out. And you can sit in the calendar or you can sit in any one of these workshops and remove all of the soul. The idea is to remove the soul so the soul go away from the physical body of yours, from the energy body from yours, and go back to the causal body of that soul and it will never come back. Otherwise, you feel roaming around and disturbing somebody. Mm -hmm. Right. So now, when this can happen, can happen during meditation, can happen during hypnosis, you sit down at 3 o'clock in the morning or 4 o'clock in the morning, hoping to make some connection. You want to get some power, you want to get some connection, you want something to come to you and tell you, you are so great, you are so fantastic, you are covered. Everybody is going from one place to another place, going around looking for some kind of power to come to them, to be power, I have this power, you know. So they go. Because all the movies you see, when one old man giving them the power, they have something, they wear something, and they got the power, they got the connection, so all these things happening around them. This is what I'm trying to say, something like that can happen, and you need to understand. So meditation may be good or may can give you a wrong connection, such a way some kind of energy or soul will get attached to you, or maybe even much more, many, many souls will get attached. As I tell people, you've got thousand souls, two thousand, what are you doing? You're having some kind of meditation or some kind of invocation or doing some kind of thing like that. And then hypnosis can also happen during that time of hypnosis, your body is gone and you go into another realm, in that time a connection can come and come inside you. They call it past life regression. You must be very, very careful. You don't do the wrong thing, something will come inside, something awakened from inside you. There could be a soul already inside you, and that can awaken and cause you a lot, a lot of problems, especially when the soul does not want to go. Then comes the drugs. All kind of drugs will make you lose your energy feed, and then your aura becomes weak. Anything get inside. Like the very famous thing called Hayawasa. It's done in uh, Central, uh, South America, as in Peru. People go in the jungle, they sit down, and they start taking all of these things, and then they're not in control of yourself. A lot of things can come inside from the inner world, from the dark side. They will be, don't think, don't ever think, you meditation, you hear some voice, the divine is talking to you. Divine has no time to talk to you, please understand that. Huh? That is divine. <laughs> It's not a man, it's something totally un un unimaginable. You cannot imagine, even if you die one time, two times, three times, you will not be able to find this divine being or divine energy. You have to merge with it to understand, you must become a light being in order for that. For that to happen, you must balance all your karma, you must become, you must do a lot of good things to become a light being, where your aura becomes a light, a divine light. I am light, glowing light, everything light, intensified light. God consumes my darkness, transforming it into light. This day I am the focus of the center sun, flowing through me is a crystal river, a living fountain of light that cannot be qualified by human thoughts and feelings. I am the outpost of the divine. Such darkness in me used up and swallowed the mighty river of light, I am, I am, I am, I am, I am light, I live, I live in light, I am light's fullest dimension, I am light's purest intention, I am light, 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 flooding the world, blessing and strengthening and conveying the purpose of the kingdom of God. That's what you should become, the light, the intensified light, the radiating light. That's what you become. Then you merge with the light. Then you can see the Creator. Until then you cannot. 
You cannot see the creator, my friend. Huh? So I tell you guys, don't waste your time. When you go to the function, people just go in trance. You see one lady was screaming, or a man would be screaming and shouting and falling on the leg, and the priest would come and put something here and stop it from happening. He touches the Archa Chakra and the crown chakra, like that. You know, some kind of power struggle they put on there and it's boom, then you fall down. The soul go. The soul can be inside the patient or the person or can be anywhere around the whole temple. So then you got occult practices. Occult practices. Sitting on the jungle, under a tree, going to the jungle and doing something and invoking for some beings to come. Wrong thing can happen. Don't imagine. God is not going to come. What have you done for God to come into you? You know, there's no such thing as God coming into you. Please, for God's sake, there's no such thing. Eh? God is something else, beyond your imagination. It's beyond the imagination of the Mother Earth. It's beyond, because it's the energy of the whole universe. The solar system, the sun is working through the energy of the Divine, the Creator. The moon is going around, the sun is going around, and everything is moving around. And we are moving in a much more bigger circle outside there. As how the earth is going on the sun, the sun and the whole solar system is moving again in another big circle out there. In the universe, the galaxy, the Milky Way, whatever you want to call it. So we don't want to understand, we don't have to. Let's do the little thing, keep Mother Earth clean. Let Mother Earth survive. Let Mother Earth be, be able to feed the whole nation and everything, all living and non-living things. That's what we should do. Be one with Mother Earth first, before we start talking about God. Be one with the people around you. Then we can talk about being one with God. That's the most important. Be one with everybody around you. Do good. See good. Think good. <laughs> Gautama Buddha. Yes, madam. We have so many souls in the hospital. Can we play the soul illusions song? Can madam. Can we play the soul illusions song? Yes, madam. But the problem sometimes, madam, some of the soul hospital are coming for revenge. Because the doctor in our class here in our workshop today, what happens is sometimes many of these souls die because of medicine malpractice. Operation sometimes. Overdose. Overdose of uh, anesthetics. Come on, let's do it. So wrong diagnosis. Number one. No, other way around. Paper is not available. Ask the cell phone. They are not able to provide the time. In the Mala, madam, some of the souls are still there. So they can be very, very angry and can have a lot of... Angry uh, towards the doctors. Yeah, the wire, yeah, angry towards the whole system. Doctors, not even treat on the same time. They go to government hospital. They charge you so much of money. So you have to feel one of them. Now you're going to go to the hospital. You're going to go so the idea of saving the patient is not there. Money can be the motive of <coughs> many of these institutions. Not, not only here, but all over the world, madam. Poor guy, Amar gang guy, come like okay, start doing something bad guy. So yeah, they do a castle like that. But now, normal, we don't want to do that. So no matter why I'm seeing that, because a girl came to my class, she was anesthesia. She's learning to become uh, anesthesia. So she said on the table, one of the guys overdose of anesthesia. We don't follow that, madam. Follow that, madam. We follow that, madam. I cannot say, because sometimes they understand about the weight, the body, the kind of medicine. Somebody cannot, some of the medicine, body cannot take this thing. So they did that. And the soul is the That is the reason why I am now today in the Mali and the soul and the other thing. That is the reason why I am now today finding a way to elevate all the souls who are in the hospitals <coughs> all over the world who are now going through a lot of difficulties of trying to elevate themselves because of whatever they have gone through in their lifetime. They are stuck there. Even mortuary, but even I asked this girl, doctor, she said, I work in the mo I, I work in the mortuary, yes. You know, some of the bodies are unclaimed, madam. And what do you do with the body, madam? No, 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 go for operation dissection. <laughs> yes, practical dissection, madam. I'll nick it, hey, what is not a day? Gamma by the guy, Gamma Bangada, the Kathak. I want you guys to think of all the hospitals in your area so that. We can all find a way to activate all the souls. Many, many souls stuck because of my experience of yesterday when one lady came to me. She was a teacher. No, she was doing her course on when, I mean, uh, anesthesia. She said people die on the on the table because of anesthesia many times. In her experience, one died. She's a student. But two more years ago, she was explaining to me. I have greeted her everything. And that's why somebody struck me here and say we must elevate all the souls of all the hospitals in this country. Not even country, everywhere.
Like that, there are many, many souls stuck in mortuaries. No one is claiming the body. Don't know what to do. Sometimes they don't even know how to identify. Some would have died in the thing and the whole body would have got given. They don't know who to identify. Sometimes the bodies are not claimed at all. But the soul is still there. Because there are so many mortuaries around the world. And, and you know what? You know how many... You know that girl told me there are 200 bodies in the mortuary. And she told me that girl. I was... No, you know, put it down there. I'm killing what is that? What to do? She told me about 200 bodies, no unclean, madam. Because there's a law that you cannot just throw the body away. The full of money, Arab, 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 investigating, investigating, so funny things. Sometimes there's two people investigate, madam. Say, man, like someone is lost. You would have died somewhere, you would have put the body down there. How to find, how to say, you know what I mean. Come on, madam, you believe me, madam. You believe me. It's about 200 bodies. I think if you get your money, madam, I will try to share. Next. Why they cannot enter the spiritual world? Why they cannot go beyond that path? Okay. Now, when I say they are the and the wandering soul means they can see you, they can smell. Sometimes you can smell them. Some of them people clay wine. They can smell something. The house can smell dirty smell. This woman is her smoking or madam. Sometimes they smell smell of smoke. Yes. Yes. So all male souls who come, they smell smoke. They smell something they smell alcohol. They are drunk in the inner world. They smoke. So this one all very nice. Uh, I just miss that. So I asked them, I cannot wait. I can wait tomorrow, I will do. Being stronger and stronger. But I want, you want to go now. You don't want to wait. So I elevated that. Within, like that, spell begins zero. Just go. See how they all will help you. Like that. Everywhere in the world you go, there are many, many souls out there finding the way to go out. Because of the wrong belief system. That's why they are stuck. They don't know how to come up, you know. Where to go and learn, madam? No one teaches the other things. All sit down, doing mantras here, doing this mantra, meditation, all this. One, we have seen all this, we don't know where to go, how to go. It's very important to have the correct thoughts and correct teaching that you can go. Okay? So, like that.